What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back with another predicted lineup video. We have got Colchester in the third round of the League Cup. How are you feeling about this one, Sim? Yeah, very it's a buzzing for the League <laughs> Cup. I can't wait. Uh, look, it is what it is. You obviously, obviously, we go to Colchester away. Obviously, we all want we want to see a good cup run. We all want to go as far as we can, and we all want to get that first trophy under Pochettino's end under our belt. So maybe the run could start here. Who knows? All right. So what are we thinking? Uh, four three uh, diamond again? Probably that. I could. Like I mean, four, four, two yeah, I'm expecting kind of a lot of changes. Expecting yeah. a lot of changes. Um, I'm expecting Poch to put out it's, um, very much a, sense, a second string side and give a lot of players a rest. But I'm still expecting a few first teamers. To be fair, our second string side looks a bit strong now. Yeah. Um, so let's start with it. In goal, it's going to be Gazaniga to keep his mm -hmm. place. Yeah. I think he'll, yeah, for sure. He had a good display on Saturday, and Hugo, he, he was, I think, he was always going to play this game anyway, uh, even if Hugo wasn't having his baby and whatnot. So Gazan definitely comes, uh, retains his place. And right wing back, I think Carl Walker Peters probably coming for this one. Yeah, I agree with that. Unless he, for some reason he decides Sanchez again at right back, that would be ridiculous. So I think, yeah, Carl Walker Peters comes back in. And left back, what were we thinking? Davis, Rose, Sessignon to come back in? No, Davis. I think Davis played against uh, Olympiacos and he uh, didn't play on Saturday, so I think Davis definitely comes back. And he needs the game time as well, I feel. So Davis for sure. Even though, well, he was poor in Greece though, wasn't he? He was, but he's got to play. Yeah. If Sessignon's fit, I'd like to see him there, but I don't think he's going to quite make it. And centre backs, this is a big one. Um, usually, actually, they play one of Jan or Toby yeah. in these games. Uh, but we're feeling it's going to be Foyf and Sanchez. Well, Foyf, Sanchez for sure is going to play, and it's whether who's going to partner him. Foyf is fit again, and it would be a good opportunity for him to get some minutes under his belt to get some match fitness. Um, so I'm feeling he might go with Foyf, especially he loves Foyf so much. Um, it could even be Foyth the right back and someone else's centre back, but I'm feeling Foyf centre back with Sanchez. Carl Walker Peters needs some minutes as yeah, well. Yeah, and to be I fair. think give uh, Toby and Jan, give him a good rest before Saturday. I think we should be able to cope with them two at the back. All right, and in the bottom of the diamond, what we think, Winks, Dyer? I think Dyer comes back in. Dyer comes back in for me because he, again, well, he needs minutes and um, we, need, we need him up to speed because we might actually need him soon, sooner or later, the way things are going, how open we are at the back. We might need a defensive midfielder to slot in at some point because we are conceding chance after chance, so Dyer needs to get up to speed. I mean, it's no, it's no, um, what's it called? It's no coincidence that our defence has got a lot worse since Dyer and Wanyama have been off the boil. Yeah. So. That's true. That's true. It definitely contributes to it. That um, and the fullbacks. And uh, alongside them in midfield in the diamond, we're going for Ndombele and Sissoko. Yeah. I think that I think Ndombele I think needs all the time he uh, can get in English football to get used to the t how the team plays and how English football is being played. So I think uh, he will probably retain his place, get some good minutes under his belt, and he'll probably be partnered by Sissoko, who. Uh, Winks probably needs a bit of a rest. He's played every game this season. Well, two players as well that started on the weekend. Yeah, but I think again, I think I think they'll play. I think Sissoko and Ndombele can combine quite well together. I think they'll play again together. All right, and at the tip of the diamond, it's got to be Deli Ali, hasn't it? Yeah, because he um, has again. He's come back from squad injury. Of yeah, he was. Uh, he was left out the squad to give him a bit of a rest. I think again, another player who again needs needs more minutes to get more match fitness. I keep seeing you saying that every player, but. Deli Ali definitely needs to be um, involved in this game for sure. He needs the minutes. And we're, again, another player who we just n haven't seen the best of in a while. And hopefully, if we can get if we can get fit enough, we can see him more in the first team. And up top, we're thinking Kane's going to have a rest. Um, I'm actually not sure if Troy Parrott's going to play. I would love to see him play. Yeah. But um, we're going to put him in there just because we want to see it happen. Yeah, we do want to see it. Exactly. Um, this is probably our line. I think, I think Parrott is someone who a lot of fans are very excited about. And also, I think the to a source, source of frustration for Tottenham fans in the sense that you, if you look around Europe, there are players who are very similar age to Troy Parrott, the young guy at Barcelona. You've got Mason Greenwood for United, all getting some game time for the first team and actually performing quite well and, and showing that they can actually keep up with uh, you know the big boys, as, as it were. And so I understand Pochettino's hesitancy to not chuck him into the first team straight away. But I would like to see him get some minutes. But this and see is a perfect game for him. So, uh, League One opposition. Or is it League One or League Two? Uh, League One, League think, one yeah. opposition. Um, yeah. And he's looked he looked good every time we've seen him play. Exactly, so especially in friendlies against uh, these very good teams. He hasn't looked out of place. So I, I'd like to see him get some minutes. Um, and, and, you know, if it doesn't work out, you take him off early. But I, he, even, you know, under 20, 
the Ireland under 21 level. He was bagging the goals at the international break. He's been bagging the goals uh, at the youth levels ever since that game as well. So I think he's shown that he's you know he's above that level he can probably maybe he can make an impact here so it'll be good to see if he can get some game time this i'd love to see him start and alongside him lucas more what lucas more up lucas more rapid exactly <laughs> lucas more rapid to be up front alongside him lucas is very unlucky not to have more game time this season already because if there's someone to suffer from, uh, you know, it's always Lucas Moura, isn't it? Yeah, it's such a, we always tend to, for someone to be left out, it's, it always seems to be him. I don't know whether it's just his personality or uh, like he's more willing to be left out. I don't know it's what it is. It's not his personality, it's because we've got most quality in those kind of positions. It's you know, a shame you're for You're him. playing up front, you've got him, Son and Kane. He's definitely better. He's definitely Kane and Son out. He's definitely better than a player who only should be starting in cup games or league cup yeah. games and FA Cup games. He should be, he deserves a lot more game time in Premier League and Champions League games. To be fair to him, he does start a lot of Champions League. So he's, he you see, does seem to be first choice in those games. But uh, I do see him starting in this game because he, he was on the bench on the weekend. So he'll probably be heavily involved in this one, I assume. All right, and a quick score prediction. I'm going to go 3-0 to Tottenham. 3-0 Tottenham. Who's going to score? Assuming Troy Parrott's going to play. Troy Parrott will get one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, then Lucas will get two. All right, I'm going... No, Delhi will get one as well. Last time we played them, it was 4-1, right? 4-0? I think it was 4-0. 4-1. I remember it was Chadley scored home. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chadley scored. Who else scored? I can't remember. Lame uh, did Lamella score? On, this is supposed to be your forte, Sim. I know, but this is, I can't remember exactly this game. We've caught him out. I've been trying for years to do this. <laughs> I've been trying for years. I finally caught him out. Anyway... Um, like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you thought of our predicted lineup. Tell us what you think the score is going to be. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs! Spurs.